Hello, my name is Nick Tart. I'm a lieutenant with Wake Forest Fire Department, and today I would like to share some fire prevention tips with you. Smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors are some of the most valuable pieces of life-saving devices you can buy. And they're also the cheapest, and this is why they should be in your home. Many people have questions about smoke detectors. When you go purchase your smoke detector, I always like to recommend to read the owner's manual. It will give you all the information about that particular smoke detector. Put them in the right placement is very important. All, every hallway in the home, every level of the home, and that includes the basement, and especially the bedroom. You want them to be in a location so where you can hear them, even when you sleep. With that said, the proper placement for smoke detectors should be on the ceilings or high on the wall. In a basement, you want to properly put this on the ceiling close to the bottom of the stairwell. That's very important because remember, smoke rises and that's going to be the first activation that the smoke detector gets. It's important to always check your battery. We recommend anytime it chirps, that means it needs to be changed. Also, twice a year. We like to remember it as every time you change a clock, change your battery. With that said, I'm going to go up to this one and test it. If you don't test it, you won't know if it works properly. We recommend testing it once a month. Just like I did there, you want to check it. Don't wait and check the date. If you look on the back of every smoke detector, it will have an expiration date. Check yours to make sure that it's right. Make sure your family hears it. Get them around, let them do it, especially your children if they're old enough. Then let them know what it means when an alarm goes off, how to respond and have an exit drill inside the home. Make sure you get out and you stay out and have a safe place to meet. Carbon monoxide, also known as the invisible killer, is an odorless, colorless gas and is very poisonous. It's created when fuels such as gasoline, natural gas, and propane burn incomplete. We have ways to detect it in our home by getting a carbon monoxide detector. A person can be poisoned by a small amount of carbon monoxide during a long period of time, or they can also get it by a short amount of time with high levels of carbon monoxide that's produced by gas. Having a CO detector in your home can protect you from exposure. For the best protection system in your home, I recommend a combination system, one that does gas, such as carbon monoxide, and a smoke detector, so it picks up heat. Having them both together, it's a two, two for one. When it interconnects or one goes off, they all go off, transmitting an alarm so everyone in the house can hear it. If you ever hear your detector chirp, Replace the battery. Look on the back and see what it says. After you replace the battery and it still goes off, call 911. Let us, the fire department, come with our meter and check for gas in your home. When you go to shop for your CO detector, look on the back for the UL or CSA listing on the packaging. This will ensure that it's compliant and safe to use. In 2010, U.S. fire departments responded to over 80,000 calls of reported CO in the home. Unfortunately, over 400 people die a year being exposed to CO. So to protect your family, make sure you have a working CO detector inside your home. To wrap things up as a reminder, today we talked about placement of smoke detectors in your home. Anytime you change your clock, change your battery. Check the date and don't wait. Look on the back of that smoke detector for the correct date and see if you need to replace it. We also learn about carbon monoxide poisoning. We can prevent that by having carbon monoxide detectors and to have all your appliances checked and installed and maintenance properly and annually. If you have any other questions about fire safety in your home, please visit our website at www.wakeforestfire.com or call us on our non-emergency number at 919-556-1966. Our motto here at Wake Forest is saving lives, our prime goal.